everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how I built this awesome hanging mountain house. Now it's a super starter worthy basic materials in this house and also it's so simple to make. I'm going to show you guys how to build this thing block for block. Let's go right now. All right, and here we go with the block palette. So we're gonna be going with some oak, some stripped oak, oak planks, oak stairs, some stripped dark oak, some spruce stairs, slabs, trap doors, signs, some campfire blocks, cobble, and stone. All right, let's get this started. So I'm gonna give you guys the seed and the coordinates to this exact location if you wanna build this hanging mountain house right here in this spot. If not, just find yourself a tall mountain and have fun. So let's get it started right here. We're gonna be going in with some of our oak logs first. And let's start right at the edge of this mountain. So this is going to be a three wide uh, and we're going to be going out. Let's start right here though from this corner. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then let's go right next to give it a, a one spacer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like this. Then underneath, we're going to be going with a spruce stair upside down in this direction. One and one right here. Then I'm going to be going and putting another upside down stair right underneath it. Another one right here. I'm going to put one above this one and another one above this location right there. I'm going to go ahead and put another stair right on this part, uh, pretty much right in between this little gap right there. And then we're going to go ahead and put a full block right here on top. So just going to go with a double slab. And then here I'm going to go with another upside down stair. So we have this look right in this edge. I'm going to bring our trap doors and bring these down just like so. And then bring one here and one on this side. Then next up, let's bring some slabs. I'm gonna bring slabs right here from the stair and go down another one, two, three, four, five. Then let's start bringing some trap doors. I'm gonna start with trap doors right on this line. So one, every other one going down like so until we have one, two, three, four right here. Then let's go on the other side. Let's go one here, every other one, just like so. And actually let's extend this one, another one and another two, just like this, just to get a little bit more separation from this side right here. And let's add one more trap door here and one more trap door right here. Then let's also go underneath here and let's add trap doors next to these right here on the bottom. And it should look like this from underneath and like this from the top. Now, next up, let's grab some signs. I'm going to put signs in between every single trap door we just placed going all the way around just like so. All right, now that we have this bridge set up, let's start working on some details on the top. So I'm gonna grab these trap doors and we're gonna put them facing down, going down this direction and pretty much just cover every other one going down like so. Then from here, we're gonna grab our campfire blocks and let's just drop down three, three, three more and then three more right here. Now, once we have that set up, we have our way down right here. So let's just knock down that part right there. So we're gonna put a ladder to get down there. But first off, this is what we're gonna do. Let's go underneath here and we're gonna start working out a way down. So let's grab our stripped dark oak log and let's actually knock down these two. And then let's bring this down in this corner, this down in this corner. And then we're gonna start going down with our strip dark oak right here on this edge. Let's go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on this one, seven over here, and then seven on this part right here. So we have this kind of little tube that takes us all the way down right there. All right, now from here, we're gonna grab our grindstone and we're gonna give it a little bit of a chain look. So we're gonna go like so and just change it up every other one. Just keep going down and twist it till you get to the bottom and just repeat this on all four sides. All right, so it should look like this. Actually only go to six because right here on the seventh, it's the seventh block, we're gonna take this one out right here on this side. So let's just go out one and two. Let's go out one and two, two here, and then two here. Just make sure these get twisted so it's the same uh, level right there on the side. Then up here, we're gonna leave that blank, but now we're gonna do a little bit of a placeholder block. So let's just place this for now. Let's actually place this for now as well because we wanna go ahead and twist it. Make sure it's the same line right here. So another one, two, three, four, and five. Do the same thing here. So a couple placeholder blocks. Make sure it's facing this direction and then go all the way down another five like so. Then from here, we're gonna actually put another placeholder block right there for now. We're gonna grab some of our spruce stairs and go down right here, overhang this bit right here, and then take this down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do the same thing on this end. So placeholder block, make sure that stair goes overhanging, go all the way down, overhang that side, and then overhang this side right here. Now next bit of detail, we're gonna go ahead and put another placeholder block, this time of oak. Make sure this pop-out log touches the side of that overhang and then take it all the way down and overhang that side, go back this direction and go all the way down and mirror that. 
Then next up, let's put some cross beams. I'm going to put them right here on the side. So one, two, and three, right at the same level where we just placed those. And then one, two, and three right there. Then next up, I'm going to put the same strip dark oak. Let's put one right in this spot. Then I'm going to put an oak plank and an oak plank just like that. Let's repeat it over here. So we're going to put uh, the dark oak and then an oak plank and then an oak plank right there. Then let's grab the stair and just take it up. So one here, one on top. Let's go on this side, one here, one on top. And then on this part, we're going to put our log and we're going to come down one, two and overhang three right there. Put some upside down stairs in each side like so. I'm going to put a stair facing this direction. And over here, we're going to put a trap door just like that. Then we're just going to go ahead and repeat it over here on this side. And there it is. This roof is done. Now, next up, let's work on the rest of the house. So from here, let's go right from this center where we have this cross beam and let's take this down. We're going to go down one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go down again on this corner. One, two, three, four, and five. Just a three block gap space in the middle. Go to this corner. One, two, three, four, and five. And over here again, one, two, three, four, and five. So it should look like this. All right, next up, we're gonna go right at the second to last and put a little cross beam. We're gonna have a three block gap space in the middle. And we're gonna do this all the way around, just like so. Give a little bit of a platform here and it's gonna look pretty cool. Now, next up, let's work on the next bit of detail. I'm gonna grab oak planks and we're also gonna mix in a little bit of the stripped oak and we're gonna go up here. Let's do it all oak plank for now. So one, two, three, one, two, and three. I'm gonna put an upside down stair here of our oak and we're gonna have a door, a little balcony that goes out here, which is gonna look awesome. Uh, let's actually jump back to the opposite side over here and we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna put a window. So one, two, and three, three up here. We're gonna put a stair down and a stair over here. So upside down and regular. And then over here, we're gonna also put another window. So take this one up, three, three. And then we're gonna put a stair and a stair right there. Now next up, let's grab some stairs. I'm gonna put an upside down stair right underneath that pop out. Another one on this side. I'm gonna put one and one over here. Another one on this side. And then just repeat it and go all the way around like so. Then next up, let's go ahead and put a little pop out here. So I'm gonna go with an extension here, one and two. We're gonna go one and two. I'm gonna put one up one up right there let's put some upside down stairs one on this side one on this side a slab in the middle and then i'm going to go with a trap door another trap door and another slab right there next up let's put a fence over here a fence on this side two fences one on each side here and a fence gate in the middle then i'm going to grab a slab of our spruce one on this side and then one on this side Let's also grab some campfire blocks and I'm going to put these on the top just to give a little bit of uh, overhang on this side. So let's go right from this corner. Let's do one and two, one and two, one and two right there. And then let's grab our trap doors and we're going to give it a little bit of a lining down here just like so. Now we're going to jump back on this side and here I want to put a little bit of a fireplace. So let's do this. I'm going to put an upside down cobble stair right here. Let's take up cobblestone one, two and three. Let's break that piece off and go up four and five. Over here, I'm gonna put a stair facing this direction of cobble. Then over here, we're gonna go with another full block. I'm gonna put an upside down stair, one and two down, so right there. And then we're gonna take this up another one, two, and three. Over here, I'm gonna put a wall. And then here, we're gonna put a campfire and then surround this in trap doors. After, we can give it a little bit of texturing by adding some regular stone. Uh, you can add any color, really. You can even add some brick over here, some granite. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna go with just regular old stone and cobble just like that that looks pretty good and then on the inside here we're just going to finish this off by covering this side up and then this side up just like so and since we're here already let's break in some of our regular stripped oak just to give it a little bit of texture now let's add some extra details here so one thing i want to do is let's extend this down one more right here on every single one we're also going to be putting some upside down stairs underneath every single cross beam just like so and then we're also going to be adding trap doors right next to those stairs or underneath those stairs and then right above that little gap right here. So let's go ahead and surround this trap door lining. Get these cool little archways going all the way around just like so. Then next up, I want to add a little bit more detail to this. So what if right here we're going to add some pop out. So let's go with a pop out exactly what we have this balcony bit. We're going to pop these out all the way around just like so. And then we're also going to be adding some upside down stairs underneath right here of these pop outs. We're also going to put them underneath these that we have set up already. And then let's continue with this little trap door trim all the way around every single upside down stair we just placed. So just like that, that looks pretty cool. Then next up, let's put some walls underneath every one of these pop outs that we have going down. Let's add some fences underneath those. 
and then let's also hang some lanterns underneath every single one of these like so. Then next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but on these little corner bits. So let's go ahead and put walls, then we're gonna put our fences, and then let's add our lantern. So we're gonna do the same thing on every single corner all the way around. All right, now on this side, I'm gonna be adding an upside down stair, one on each side, a slab in the middle. I'm gonna be putting some regular clear glass for this one and an oak trap door here. For this section, I'm gonna add some bushes. So let's go one, two, and three, like so. And then underneath, I'm gonna be putting some of the same trapdoors, the spruce ones, to connect to that bit that we have on that side. And over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna put a glass, we're gonna put a trapdoor, we're gonna put some bushes, one, two, and three, and our uh, spruce trapdoors, one, two, and three. For all these exposed logs that we see here, I'm gonna put some of our stone buttons. So we're gonna go all the way around with the button on every single exposed log. And then once we have that, just for extra added detail, I'm gonna be putting some spruce trap doors underneath, lining up the bottom of this roof. Now, last bit of detail here, I'm gonna be putting some of our fences right here, going up, right on this little gap, so there's some details there in between the log and that upside down stair. And then over here as well, I'm gonna take these up from the corner right there. Another little bit of detail, is gonna be putting some flower pots on top of these walls that we have out in the open right here. And just cause we can, I'm gonna add some bushes as well. Just coming down here on the side, I'm gonna be putting just a few there and maybe just a few over here on this side, kind of wrapping around right there. All right, now jumping on the inside, we need a floor, but I think the best kind of floor to put is an all glass floor. So you guys can just look down from the inside and you get that cool look, that looks really awesome. I'm gonna add just a regular old spruce door right here. Oh, and one slight modification. Let's actually take this glass out right there. I got an idea. Let's actually go jump on the outside. I'm gonna be putting right here, just a spruce trap door. Cover it up just like that. This is gonna be a facade. It's not gonna really be a window. Uh, I'll show you why, because we're gonna need a ladder to get up. So let's cover this up, and then right here, let's bring this dark oak, well, strip dark oak all the way down. It's gonna look just like this. We're gonna be adding a ladder, and this is gonna take us all the way up to the top. So let's go ahead and put this all the way up. And it should look just like this. Another option would be if you wanted to keep uh, that window, just take out this right here. Uh, and every time you want to get out, just go ahead and put a scaffold down and take it all the way up, shoot it up, and you should be good to go. That's another option. It really depends on how you guys want to set it up. Ladder's good or scaffold all the way up. Or uh, maybe even put a trap door right here uh, um, and then jump down in a water stream. That's another option. Or don't do any of this close this off and the only way you can get up here is with elytra it's up to you guys how you want to set it up but let me show you what else to put in here i'm going to put some furnaces right there uh on the top here i'm going to drop just a light really simple over here we're going to put a barrel uh then we can go ahead and put a chest right here on this side i'm going to drop our bed let's put a crafting bench we're going to drop this crafting bench really simple on that side uh we have flower pots right give me a flower pot Drop a flower pot right there, looking pretty good. Let's drop a plant in there, why not? Uh, let's grab some paintings and we're gonna add these details, maybe one over here on this end, uh, maybe one more over here, same one. Um, perfect, <laughs> then on the ceiling here, just to give a little bit of detail, uh, I'm gonna go with some slabs and a trap door combo. So let's go with a slab on every corner bit, trap doors in the other gaps like that. Uh, and that's it. Pretty starter worthy, right? We got a crafty bench, we got some furnaces, we got some chests. You can even add some more chests if you want. Stack that up to the side, that's perfectly okay. Uh, you can even add more stuff there, but if you wanna make it simple, there it is. Super simple, super starter worthy, unless, yeah, it's super starter worthy, it's good. All right, and we're all done. Let's take a little bit of a walk in here and I added some extra details along the way. All right, look at this. I had a bunch of trees over here, kind of a little overhanging bit, just some spruce and some oak, a little bit of a path here with some cobble and some uh, some gravel, a little bit of mossy. And then right here, this is so cool. It's a little bit dangerous. We don't have any railings, but you know what? I trust myself. Uh, and look at that. I added just a little bit of a hanging light there just to add a little more details. Textured the walls a little bit with some cobble, some mossy, and it looks so cool. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump on in. Let's see how this feels. Oh, that is cool. Look at that glass. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect for your starter needs. There it is, baby. Oh, man, it looks so cool. I'd love to live up in here. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Imagine just a bunch of these overhanging, popping out right from here, different elevations. That might actually look pretty cool. Even that mountain over here in the back, this one over here, we can add a bunch of these. Let me know if you guys would like to see maybe a whole hanging mountain village i don't know let me know down below put hashtag mountain village do it so do it tell me a bunch of a bunch of times uh but for right now i'm out thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed let me know if you guys want to see more of these mountain houses man this is super fun super awesome but i'm out thank you so much for watching catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye